Hello and welcome to the 14th episode of CS Student Questions. This is an interview show where real life company secretary students come and ask questions about different aspects about their journey of becoming a company secretary. And today we are joined by, let me ask him to introduce himself. Hi, I'm Rajat. I'm from Shumoga. I'm currently pursuing Bachelor of Computer Application and now I took a company secretary. Welcome to the show, Rajat. I'm very happy that you're here. So, Rajat has chosen the topic, which is again, basic things a company secretary student should know. This is the topic. So, Rajat, what is your first question? Sir, my first question is, how many years should it take to complete CS course? Okay. So, this is one question. Actually, I don't have an answer. Because if you say how many years to do uh, 10 standard plus 2 degree, there is a clear answer. Okay. If you do... Uh, 10 years of school, you do 10 standard. Of course, there is nursery, etc. Then you do 2 years, you do plus 2. Then 3 years degree. But in company secretary course, there is no specific answer because it depends on how many attempts you took. But what I can tell you is if you do in first attempt. So if you are from a foundation student, if you do in first attempt, obviously you will take around 3 years to do. If you are an executive, again if you do first attempt all the papers, you will finish in 2 years. But we have to calculate also the training period. So if you do only exam, you don't, uh, they, will, they will not call you a company secretary. You should be a, also a, uh, a training should be completed. So that is why we have to say that company secretary course is anywhere between minimum four to four and a half years to maximum five to six years. So there are people who take attempts five to six years, but four to four and a half years, it will become exam plus the training. Only exam, if you are very good, after a degree, you can do within uh, two years or uh, with foundation you can do in three years. Can we refer old question paper for the exam? Yeah, so Rajat, uh, definitely you can refer but you cannot depend on it like your uh, BCom or uh, other MCom exam. So you have to refer only after you complete your studies. When you have studied the subject, understood the concepts, end of the day in CS they are trying to test your application of the subject, application of the knowledge and the concepts. So old question paper will only help you to understand what kind of case law questions they are asking, what kind of differentiate between questions they are asking and what is the level of difficulty. But you cannot expect, okay, old question paper will repeat, the same question will repeat, that you cannot expect. But to know the pattern, to know the level of difficulty, you have to refer old question paper. Uh, even institute has guideline answers, you can refer that or the scanner, any private publication, Suchitra Prakashan and Taxman, that books also you can refer as the old question paper. What are all the books we can we refer other than books provided by ICSI? Yeah, Rajat, in fact, uh, for this question, I have made a complete video and uh, that is one of the most popular videos on our Excel Academy channel. I will leave a link in the description below for uh, all our viewers. But in general, I have told in that video also, our study material is 80% importance. Apart from that, you have guideline answers, you have suggested answers, you have the scanner, then you have the chartered secretary magazine, then you have the Bear Act. Like these are the books we have to refer. But 80% give importance to study material. And the other uh, books which I told you, you can refer that along with your study material. That will be more than enough. In fact, uh, this question, many students ask me first day of the class. They are in full josh, energy, sir, what all we should refer. So what I tell them is, by the time you finish study material, exam will come. So you don't have so much time also. But along with that, these other materials are good. ICSA material is good. Along with that, you can add on like this. Which are the apps can we refer for the difficult words in the CS course? Yes, Rajat. See, this is again, you are telling your background is uh, BCA. So your kind of science background and this is a completely uh, new uh, course for you, new subject. So when we say difficult words, there are two things. One is the words which are in English. You have a normal English dictionary. You can just Google the meaning. That is one option. But second, there are legal words, legal terminologies, legal maxims. These kind of words you get only in a legal dictionary. Legal dictionary, first you can buy a simple legal dictionary, uh, which is a physical book. That is one option, which I will still suggest do that. But if you don't want to do that, there are many apps like any legal dictionary app on Play Store. There are many. So I don't want to name one or two. You can refer that. That is sufficient. Apart from that, uh, you can also download our Excel Academy app, which is there on Play Store. Not only the typical words, but we have a lot of 
free courses and free content which will help uh, all of you viewers so i think that should be sufficient legal dictionary and english dictionary can we do both article ship and uh, cs professional at a time rajat uh, yes you can and also i will suggest you have to because when you are preparing for your exam if you have practical training it is always going to help that is one reason second reason some students they'll be waiting for passing the exam and they'll tell after my final i will go for training and they never pass the final so they are uh, not even here not even there so they are not able to pursue they lose motivation things like that in the present see there is a proposal where icsi wants to make it mandatory to join the training as soon as you pass executive but as of today it is not mandatory as of today you have option to go for training after professional also but my suggestion please go for training after executive along with professional so how do you manage you have to have a proper study plan as usual and apart from that you can take video classes if you can't go for physical coaching because when you're doing training in any city traffic and when will you go to coaching when will you go to office when will you study it's too much pressure and tension so video classes are the best answer any video class which you like i'm not saying take only excel academy whichever you are very comfortable with you take that video classes and make sure you are prepared at your uh, room or pg or home wherever through video classes and along with that attend the uh, training that should be more than sufficient yes it is difficult but you have to put in that kind of effort during professional my last question is should we study all the 470 section in company law yeah so for this question uh, the answer is definitely not you cannot study all the 470 sections and you don't need it that you should know every section number you should know the concepts but number if you don't know for everything it is okay it is not a mistake in fact we have made a uh, important list of sections and uh, i can also leave a link in the description below of that uh, uh, section so you can download that that is very simple and that will help you to be prepared for the exam so we have made a list for executive some 59 sections professional 60 or 61 sections are there that is sufficient for company law for the exam in your real life what will happen is you don't have to remember when you don't know the section you can refer the bare act when you are working so you don't worry too much about remembering but same time when you write section numbers the examiner is very impressed so that is why remember the important sections which is around 50 to 60 sections which you can it is impossible 470 50 to 60 you can so that should be sufficient so anyway rajat uh, thanks a lot for joining us and asking us very good questions about the basic concepts in cs course so that was rajat who asked very interesting questions i'm sure it helped all of you to do well in your company secretary exam and as i told you this is our cs student questions we are getting wonderful response for this series thank you very much and please do give your suggestions what all topics we should cover you can also give your questions we can feature it not that physically you have to come like uh, rajat or any of the other students who come uh, came on our show you can send your questions we can definitely feature it so please subscribe to excel academy please press the bell icon so that you never miss a video from excel academy because you already know by now that excel academy is your one stop solution for the company secretary course